Okay, on today's tutorial, we're going to do a quick and easy profile badge that takes all the content editing and fiddling around with it uh, out of there, hopefully. So this will give us a uh, component that's got a couple different variations. So just a badge, just the name, and then a background. Um, and then also when you edit the names, our initials in the badge update as well. So quick and easy, let's get to it. So the first thing we're gonna do is type our name that we want. Okay, I'm done. This is pretty crazy, so we'll do that. Okay, and then I'm gonna add a circle, an ellipse, that's gonna be for the text. And then I'm just gonna drag, duplicate that down. I'm gonna hit Shift A just to put a quick frame around it, and I'm gonna get the spacing out of there. I'm gonna hit clip content, and I'm actually going to track that out a bit. So now that I got my frame, we'll call it first, first, first. And I'm actually, come on, I'm actually gonna drag it in and give it a little bit of space there. And move that there. I'm going to duplicate that. And I'm going to rename that to last. And then I'm just going to select those and hit Shift A and make an auto layout out of them. And then I'm going to select those and my ellipse, and I'm going to make it into a group. <laughs> nice and easy. So I've got, uh, nope, I buggered that up. Just kidding. So I actually wanted, yeah, initials and the ellipse, and then turn that into a group. Just make sure those are centered. Perfect. Select these guys. Shift A to add an auto layout. We'll call this <coughs> and then what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to duplicate the name again. I'm going to get a do a first name and a last name. Uh, that spacing's not too bad, but I'm still going to throw an auto layout around these guys just so that I can adjust it individually from the spacing between the badge. Uh, okay, not bad. I'm going to add a fill, add some quick style, and then just update my colors. So that's going to go to black. Okay, so there we go, all done. Pretty easy stuff. Um, this is our badge. So now we're gonna create a component. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select my first name, I'm gonna open up my initials, and I'm gonna select, control select that guy, under first or first, go to my content variable, first name, John. And then I'm gonna take that one, I'm going to go into the last name, control select, create a property, last name. All right. So now I've got, I'm actually going to move, yeah, no, that's actually good. We're in good shape. So there we go. That's our component. Uh, so now we can create a variant of it where there's no padding. And it's transparent, and then we can create another variant of that where it's just the badge. So we'll call this. We'll call this one badge. Easy peasy. So now if I were to add a screen, drag this guy in there. 
can see we go through our different states nice and easy and the best part is we can change it to uh, won't do it. cool now you can see we have a bit of issues with our M getting cut off there so that's all right all we'll do is go in here and the nice thing is you can click this target and it selects all of them. And we're just going to add a little bit of width to it. Thirteen should do it. There we go. So now you've got a profile badge where you only enter the information once and it updates throughout its own states. Um, if you have any questions, or comments, leave them in the comments. Um, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hopefully this helped you out. We'll see you next time. Thanks.